What's going on, Beardos? So, I tried to make this video without scripting it, and it really didn't come across the way that I wanted it to. So here I am doing something that I don't normally do, scripting a rant video. <laughs> I personally have been playing the Destiny franchise since the Destiny 1 Alpha was released. I was so hyped for this franchise, and I got on board very early. That's why I'm saddened to say that, as many of you know, Destiny is currently in its worst state since Destiny 1 released. Today, I've had a revelation about why this could be. This is just an idea of mine, and it may be way off, but I actually believe that Destiny 1's initial development has a... Uh, that's bad writing. <laughs> <clears throat> Today, I've had a revelation about why this could be. This is just an idea of mine, and it may be way off, but I actually believe that Destiny 1's initial development caused a ripple effect that carried over to Destiny 2. As we know, Destiny 1 was released on last-gen consoles, and I think there's a connection between this fact and the issues we face today in Destiny 2. As of right now, the most complaints about Destiny 2 consist of, first and foremost, Eververse. Hashtag remove Eververse. Please get rid of it. It just ruins the game. <coughs> and then the lack of endgame content on release is the second largest thing that people complain about. And don't get me started on Curse of Osiris because it did not help the end game content and it was a terrible expansion in my opinion. It literally added two strikes that were reskinned story missions and a story that was plagued by Bungie's hyped up infinite forest garbage. Getting back to the topic at hand, I think th the reason Destiny 2 is lacking so much in end game content is because of last gen consoles. I know this might sound far fetched, but hear me out. I truly believe that if Destiny 1 was built from the ground up with ge uh, current gen consoles in mind and PC from the beginning, we would not be in the predicament that we are in now. If Bungie and Activision had decided to skip last gen consoles altogether, the game would not have released in a state that was almost instantly considered outdated because of last gen constraints. I think the fact that Destiny 1 was released on last gen consoles made a sequel inevitable because Bungie and Activision felt the need to update the graphics and engine of the game as opposed to continuing to build on Destiny 1. This is where we turn to Tom Clancy's The Division. The Division was released in 2016 on current gen consoles and PC. Many people were very unhappy at launch because of the same problems that plagued Destiny 1 and now plague Destiny 2. Lack of end game content. However, the way that the strategies of Massive and Bungie differ is that Massive chose to continue to support the Division with all hands on deck instead of having part of their team work on a sequel. As we know, Bungie started to work on Destiny 2 at some point during Destiny 1's life cycle, all while the Destiny 1 live team was adding great content and eventually turning Destiny 1 into a great game. As of right now, a Tom Clancy's The Division sequel has not even been announced, and Massive has pledged to continue to support the game as long as players remain invested in it. According to many, the Division's current state in Update 1.8 is the best that the game has ever been, and many people are coming back to play it, including myself. It really has come so far, and it is a fantastic game now, with so many things to do in the endgame. The Division is a complex RPG co-op looter shooter. It has made an identity for itself. It's complicated, but it's rewarding. There is so much build diversity in the game right now, and at the same time, the game is probably the most balanced it has ever been. Going back to Destiny, it, it is basically in the opposite state. It has been simplified and stripped of all the endgame content that made Destiny 1 great at the end of its life cycle. And I think that comes down to Destiny 2's development cycle being during Destiny 1 before a lot of the live team updates were actually rolled out. It also comes down to corporate greed as we know with Bungie and Activision trying to cater to a more casual audience, but I digress. I think Bungie could have been better off if they continued where Destiny 1 left off and let us continue with all the previous content while adding D2 sized expansions to the game. However, as I said before, this just wasn't possible because D1 was developed with previous gen consoles in mind and therefore the previous iteration of it was severely limited technologically. In this moment, I'd like to take the time to ask Bungie to please take inspiration from Massive Entertainment. Please get all hands on deck to work on Destiny 2 as opposed to working on other projects including a sequel to this game. 
If everyone at Bungie acts as a live team, I think the game will get fixed much, much faster. I also hope that in the future, there is no sequel to Destiny 2, and that from here on out, they simply build on the foundation of D2 and create a wonderful gaming experience like Massive has with The Division. Bungie has proved that they can fix a game before with Destiny 1. I just think they have even more ground to make up with this game, and therefore they need to take the recovery of Destiny 2 very seriously, because if they don't, it could solidify their fall from grace. Anyway, I think that's really all that I had to say for this video. I know it's kind of weird hearing scripted stuff from me, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, for those of you that are coming back to The Division, I recommend that you check out Marco Style's videos on update 1.8. And if you are interested in trying The Division for the first time, I recommend you watch Skillup's 2018 review of The Division. It really does the game so much justice. Subscribe for more content, and remember, this is Beardo TV. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake. I don't fucking care. At all. You've been out all night. I don't know where you've been. You're slurring all your words. Not making any sense. But I don't fucking care.